guys look at this amazing machine this is r129 i gotta tell them i'm actually a, a big fan of r129s i really don't care whoever what if you say that you know they're not reliable i really love r129s and i really actually want to get one myself sometime they're really sweet cars two door oh my gosh really like this thing so um yeah currently while they're working on uh that 190e they're gonna be swapping the engine really soon um that 190e that was here as a actually uh left has actually left right now but yeah here's the beautiful sl500 r129 i love the color and just in general i love everything about it the headlights are beautiful and that grill is awesome really standing out and those headlight wipers as well this thing is pretty awesome guys look at this damn what a beast what a beast guys what a beast Man, this thing's sick. I love the color and stuff. This thing is a beast. Oh yeah. Man, how long have you had it for? Two, three years. Two, three years. That's pretty awesome. Something like that. It was uh, so the original owner mm -hmm. had it, and then it went to Florida mm -hmm. for the second owner. I yep. want to say. Mm -hmm. No, that was the first owner. It went to Florida with the first one. Second owner was my sister's boyfriend's aunt. Wow. She drove the car every day, hit a curb with it on this side, Ew. tacoed the wheel, and then let the car sit for about three or four years. Oh, wow. And then she mentioned it. She mentioned this car during dinner with them, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Do you guys want this? If not, I'm gonna donate it." Oh wow! So my sister told me about this. That is crazy. And I told her, with absolute seriousness, <laughs> yeah. I said, "If you let this car go and get donated, I will never f talk to you again." That's what I thought her. That is crazy. That is awesome. You know, so, I so you it. bought this thing? Oh man, and I, I love the. Carlson wheels are those Carlson wheels or yeah. no? They're, they're the so nice, ones. man. I actually have eighteens at the shop that I'm still they're still so in. nice. Yeah. So the only thing you have to do is just to just you know change some control arms or what? Or no, what exactly I mean honestly, that? when I got this car, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the key was dead, or mm -hmm. the battery was dead, and the key was stuck in the ignition. It wouldn't so turn, or it would. Uh... It was literally stuck. Like it oh, wouldn't wow. unturn to unlatch it. Uh huh. It was, uh huh. It was stuck in there. Uh huh. So I had to take a jumper and the car was locked so i couldn't unlock it couldn't unlock, uh -huh. i couldn't get into the trunk to uh -huh. move the battery and there's uh -huh. no jumping up in the engine bay so i had to take a battery jumper mm -hmm. and jump the wires on the uh, license plate the cigarette lighter. cigarette lighter Ooh. yeah so i did that and then it got enough power to get the key out and then oh gotcha unlock it and then i put wow. a new battery in it uh -huh. put a different set put these wheels on it and i've been pretty much Man, daily driving that's really awesome since. but you said like they hit the curb right but uh, it, do you notice anything that bad. no not it, that bad it, huh? it did more damage to the wheel than the car oh gotcha Man, that we thing is a, sweet, man. I like the R129. It's a little bit off. That's all right. I mean, I mean, it's nothing to worry about. And you said this car used to be in Florida at some point, right? It's, used, it's, uh, it's been it all over the place. It was supposed to be in, in Florida originally, but it got shipped there mm -hmm. with the first owner. Because this is, so back in 1997, mm -hmm. it's the Mercedes World Golf Tournament. Oh, and yeah. So that's what this car was made for. So they made literally 30 of these exact cars. So the interior is everything is original on this thing. Correct. Wow, that yeah, is actually it's, it's amazing. It's actually the showcase for the Dizinho package for the interior. <sighs> that thing is sick, man. I, ho I hope you keep this thing forever, man. This, these are cool. See, I'm I'm just that type of guy that whenever I got I get something, I just I just like to keep it forever. It's just the way it is. Like I, I all my cars, like you know. 
1600 bucks into this thing. What did you replace? What did you work all on? The, all the front suspension stuff is brand new. Nice, all man. All the front suspension is completely brand man, new. That's High really rod, nice. control arms, bushings, that's suspension, awesome. even... And then I cut the springs. Uh, yeah, it looks really good with the lowered suspension. Looks I really need, good. I need to do the back, but I bit. haven't touched Not the too back bad. yet because I, I was only concerned about yeah. the front. When I, I redid you, everything, mm -hmm. something happened with it, and mm -hmm. it actually raised the car up. Really? So when, when, you, when you redid yeah. everything? It, it was weird. So it was, it Even was, when you cut the springs or what? Before I cut the springs. Oh, before you it, cut the yeah, springs. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was riding like a truck wow. like the wheels were like cambered like this it was that really? high like yes. it was bad oh um, maybe because you uh when you replace you replace the lower control arms right on it yeah or but i mean but you still have done yeah anything, yeah right. i even put the bolts i uh -huh, marked them uh -huh. uh, put them back the same spot the same spot so that is was, really weird so what weird. did you figure out you just cut the I springs after the called it good and gotcha. yeah on. yeah man that's and really awesome the alignment done on it it kind of I don't, I don't like the alignment that they did on it. I don't uh -huh. really do it. But. I usually do my own alignments with the old school way with the string. Works every time. And for the camber, I usually use the like a special like the the measuring gauge and stuff. I just put it right here uh -huh. and I look at the level to make oh, sure yeah. it's like in the middle and stuff. Yeah. That works every time actually. I, I was surprised. Yeah. I always wanted to try that. I've just never done it. Yeah. If you want, I can show you sometime. But yeah. Let me see the engine of this bad boy, man. That's like, ooh, yeah. the thing is sweet, man. I didn't know that the interior was actually uh, original. That's oh, yeah. that's pretty amazing. So like the interior, it's all right. I uh -huh. mean, the driver's seat, as you see, it's all right. I mean, it's it. it's you know, there's some wear and tear. It's understandable, but it's still a sweet car, man. Basically, a 30-year-old car. Yeah, damn, man. Oh hell yeah! And then all, so M119 the tubes in these things. I don't know if you know, but the early ones use M1 metal. Uh huh. The, the M119, the early ones use metal uh -huh. oiler tubes. The later ones use plastic ones. Oh really? So Starting what year do you know? Like ninety four. Ninety four. Oh shit! Sure. You know? Okay, okay. And so what happens is those oiler the tubes break off, or they just the, uh... the back of it will blow off, and then it'll start ticking hella loud because yeah. the lifters aren't yeah getting exactly oil. exactly so exactly i did all of them except for two and then i need to do a time uh, a timing chain in this thing because it's stretched a little bit wow hey uh, man call me up maybe i'll help you with the timing chain that'd be pretty cool or something you know correct on everything but with right. these things there's like a special tool for timing that we have at the yeah. shop so i just i mean everything i know I there's do, a plate that you can off. use here you can kind of like put a plate i believe that holds the chain from like slipping off or yeah. something or holds it like tight right here or something mm -hmm. i've seen that before yeah i mean yeah, we've done a, a couple of them at the shop there was uh we did it on a 140 mm -hmm. um like an early 140 we did mm -hmm. it on that thing the it chain was, it wasn't too hard it was pretty easy actually mm -hmm that's pretty sick this thing it's yeah. this is a pretty nice car but the yeah. one thing that's a little sad mm -hmm. I mean, you would probably never know unless somebody told you but mm -hmm. it has been repainted um you can see like mm -hmm. right here where the paint yeah, it's like is. a little rough yeah and then uh the oh. other thing is this front it it has it's been this hood mm -hmm. the grill part has been replaced yeah so it might be the stock hood Mm -hmm. but the front grill part has been mm -hmm. replaced so if you actually look right here you can see all these nasty yeah. finger welds yeah and it's pretty bad on this side actually too oh wait so they just welded this piece or something or yeah what? so you literally chop it oh. and then put a new one on really it, it, That's right crazy. here you can see the line actually it starts right there and mm -hmm. it goes to here so you just cut it off oh, right there oh shoot yeah i see that that is crazy i never knew you can do that yeah. I mean, you can, yeah, but like, I never, I would never think that people yeah. would like have time to like mess with something like that instead of well, getting like a different hood or something, you know. You'll love this one. So the one of the guys that we've been getting parts from, uh -huh. has, he's like parting out an S six hundred, and it's like a really nice S six hundred. But really? uh, apparently, when he was like looking underneath the car, it wasn't one car; it was oh, really? two two welded together two welded together really it was from the philippines and he was in complete shock he was like in the philippines this is normal in america th this is, this is crazy this is absurd that is crazy 